Next, let's study the chronic cholestitis. Chronic cholestitis is a persistent and reoccurring process of inflammation of the gallbladder, and more than 19% patients are with cholecystolysis. The physiological features of chronic cholecystitis include the proliferation of submuxal and subserous fibrous tissues and the morning unclear cell infiltration, which may, with the reoccurring inflammation, adhere to the gallbladder and the surrounding tissues, increase the thickness of the gallbladder wall, and is gradually sacrificed, eventually lending to the shrinkage and the dysfunction of the gallbladder. The clinical manifestation of these diseases are not typical, and most patients have a history of biliary colic. It may be accompanied by nausea and emesis. In abdominal examinations, the patient may have no positive signs, but only have a mild tenderness in the impact extreme, and the morphic sign may be positive. When diagnosing these diseases, we should consider it chronic cholecystitis when the patient has reoccurring pains in the right upper quadrant or the upper middle abdomen. The thickening of the gallbladder wall can be displayed through ultrasonar graph and obstructions or calcular in the gallbladder should be cleared. A cholecystectomy should be carried out for patients diagnosed of chronic cholecystitis. Non-operative treatment may be arranged for patients unable to withstand an operation, including the administration of antibody sticks, etc. Next, we are going to study a common but serious biliary tract infection diseases. Acute obstructive suppurative cholonitis, or AOSC for shoot. It is a serious stage of acute cholonitis and also known as acute cholonitis of a severe type. In China, the most common cause of this disease is intra and extra hepatic bile duct stones. And other causes include biliary parasitis and biliary structure. The fundamental Philologic changes of the cholecystitis and the separative changes of liver, parochomy, and the biliary system. According to clinical cases, the instance is related to the age of patients and the primary diseases, biliary tract, acrinosis, and congenital diseases are more in child and adolescent patients. Primary biliary calcular are more common in young adults. Secondary diseases are mostly occur in mid-aged and elderly patients. And tumors most occur in 45 to 65 years old patients. This disease attacks abruptly and the conditions develop rapidly. And apart from the typical charcoal Treat of acute cholonitis. The manifestations also include shock and inhibition of the central nervous system, referred to as real nose patent. The specific manifestations include first, abdominal pain, a sudden pain below the rear foot, or persistent pain in the right upper quadrant. Second, Intolerance of cold and fever, sharing hyperperexia, temperature as high as 39 to 14 degrees. Third, Julius, skin and clear standing yellow. Fourth, shock, 
stenosis, cold limbs, and a drop of blood pressure. Fifth, neuropsychiatric symptoms, diffling, delirium, and common. During civic examinations, we may find tenderness and muscular tension in the right upper quadrant and below their fold and reach the swollen liver and gallbladder. And there may be a percussion pain in the hepatic range. Through lab tests, we may discover the prominent increase of the white blood cell and the neutrophil granular site. The increase of urine point positive, abnormal liver function, electrolyte disturbance and metabolic acidosis, and the decrease of oxygen patient pressure, the enlarge of liver and gallbladder, inter and external hepatic, colonic ectitis, cochlear root one two, at career. May be identified through B ultrasonograph, CT, MRCP, ERCP, etc. During diagnosis of this disease, a differential diagnosis with us, hematogenic and bacterial liver abscess, acute biliary pancreatitis of theory type, gastric unclear perforation, and acute separative. Cholecystitis should be carried out. It attacks abruptly with rapidly developed conditions, and in particular, elderly patients are liable to sudden death. Therefore, the vital signs and the respiratory and the circulatory functions of patients should be closely observed during treatment. In non-operative treatment. Closely monitor to the patient. Request the patient not to eat or drink water. Carry out the gastrointestinal decompression, and administer spasmodic and painkilling medicines. Anti-shock treatment. Carry out the fluid therapy to increase the rehydration capacity. And rectify the fluid, electrolyte, and acid-base balance. Anti-infection treatment. Administer adequate, effective, and targeted antibiotics. Protect and treat important, once rare organs. The purpose of operation treatment is to clear the obstruction. Depressurize the biliary tract and drain off the bile to save the patient's life. The operation should be as simple and effective as possible. The basic operation is a common bile duct exploration for patients diagnosed of cholecystitis. The procedure of ERCP positive endoscopic scapular Tommy and endoscopic nasobiliary drainage may be used. In general, the emergency decompression and drainage of biliary tract cannot completely remove the intiologic factors, and it may recur if there is no follow-up treatment. If the general conditions of the patient is recurred. An operation for through healing should be scheduled one to three months later, according to the allergic factors. That is all for biliary tract infections. Thank you for coming to the class. See you.